Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be all about my hair and this is not going to be a demo video. This is going to be a straight talk through. I did not film me actually doing my hair. So if you don't like these type of videos, then this would not be the video for you. But I have a ton of other wash day videos. Now this video is going to be for those of you who want to just kind of listen to processes and actually learn how to do different techniques and different things and all that good stuff that's what this video is going to be for and i'm just going to really be talking about each product that i used and why i used it and what it did and all that good stuff this is a genuine diva curl review so without further ado we're just going to get started I have all the products right here i have eight products that i used on my hair today eight products <laughs> so let's just hop right into it the first product that i started off with was the diva curl no poo decadence and this is basically the diva curl version of a co-wash they don't have a shampoo that's kind of what this is it's a no poo no shampoo poo whatever okay and it's 100 percent sulfate paraben and silicone free all of their products are because they are a curly girl friendly brand so keep that in mind when you're purchasing that is a Super bonus, if you guys don't like all the harsh ingredients in your products, then Diva Curl is the way to go. But if you're not new to this world, let me let you know, Diva Curl is expensive. Like, they got $20 and $30 products. That's just the ranges that they kind of come in. Their products are expensive. That's just what it is, guys. I really did like this. It didn't strip my hair, of course, because it's not a shampoo, it's a co-wash. So, um, speaking in co-wash terms for this product, it was really good. It, um, I felt like my hair was clean afterwards and it was not streaming to my hair. It was very moisturizing. I could really detangle my hair with it. So, I have no complaints about it. Do I think it's a product you need to run out and get? No, because you guys have shampoos, you guys have conditioners. You can kind of make it work without this product. So, um, it's a, is it great? Yes. Do you need it? No. So the next product that I have is the Diva Curl One Condition Decadence, and this is the Ultra Moisturizing Milk Conditioner. I use this to detangle my hair, and it felt so good. It smelled so good to me. It, like I said, all of their products are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. But this product was really good. Like I said I used it to condition my hair right after shampoo, and just to bring some more life to it. But since I didn't use the shampoo. These two products kind of felt a little bit similar um, because they were both pretty moisturizing to my hair. So um, they both felt really good, but I kind of want to leave this in as a leave-in conditioner, this milk conditioner by Diva Curl. I kind of want to leave it in just because I don't, I didn't want to wash it. I don't feel like it needed to be washed out. I don't know what makes it have to be washed out, but I really like this. So next time I try it, I'm going to try it as a leave-in as opposed to something that I rinse out. But it did help with detangling. It's just too expensive to be rinsed now. I think that's what I'm feeling right now. Like, it's just too expensive to rinse this out. Um, I think I'm going to start, like I said, using this as a leave-in conditioner. So the next product that I used was a deep conditioner, of course, after I rinsed that out. And I used the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture Deep Conditioner. This is the one that is green. And it kind of looks like um, Play-Doh or something. Smells like Play-Doh. Um, and I really like this. I do have the Heaven in Hair as well. But I prefer this one over that. I slept in this overnight, guys. And then I didn't rinse it out until the next day around like 5 o'clock. And my hair felt so freaking good. This is the best deep conditioner to actually sleep in I just love how it felt and this is a matcha butter conditioning mask so I really enjoy using this on my hair like I really need to save it or contact Diva Curl to be like hey can I get some more of that because this stuff is so good but I need to find it in stores ASAP because I will certainly be repurchasing this product this product is amazing if you do not have it in your stash you should probably go check it out because it's legit. Like, I really, really, really like this. Okay, so after I had that on for like 24 to 48 hours, I came home, rinsed that out, got in the shower, and started doing my wash routine. And I used the Leave-In Decadence 
Ultra Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. Now, I am not a big fan of this. I don't feel like it did much for my hair. Like I was saying before, I probably would prefer the One Condition Decadence as a leave-in as opposed to their actual leave-in in, in the Decadence line. Um, just because I didn't feel like this was like a rock hard amazing product and I felt like this would have done a better job at um getting my hair to feel in the way that I like for it to feel after my leave-in conditioner so um this is okay I don't highly recommend it but I do like it it's okay but it's not I would just go with this and use this as your leave-in conditioner as opposed to going out and getting this so you could save some money so the next product that I use was the Diva Curl Be Leave-In. If you guys don't already know, I love this stuff. I am literally like right here on this prod product. I really need this in like a big jug. I need to actually go research and see if they have this in a bigger container because I'm going to go through this really, really quickly. And this is it's a weird product. This is a Miracle Curl Plumper and it's for texture and volume. And it's so crazy. Ever since I've been using this product, I do feel like my hair... It's very voluminous. It just gives it like a airy, bigger feeling. I don't know how to explain it, but I do think it's because of this product. My wash and goes have been taken up like seven notches. I know that was four, but seven notches, yo. Like, I don't know what, like, what it is. I don't use it as like my styler. I just add it to my hair as like a, another leave-in. Um... But I, do, I don't I do just rely on this to be my leave-in. I do add a leave-in and then I go on top with the B leave-in. And that's what any wash and go now. Like, I can't, I don't think I ever not be able to use this. Like, I'm probably going to be trying to reach for it in every wash day. It's clear. It'll probably mesh well with any other, any other products. I just absolutely love this product. I don't know. It's a miracle curl plumper for real because... It does something to my curls. I'm not sure what it is, but it does it. Because when I don't have this in there, my curls aren't the same. So, I love this stuff. Then I went in, because I wanted to go in with a thicker cream styler. I went in with the Super Cream by Diva Curl. I actually really like this cream. It's thick. Anybody with type 3 or type 4 hair would love this product. Just because it's thick. I would actually say 3C, 4A, 4B, 4C. Um, would really love this product just because it's a thicker consistency and I love the way it just feels going onto my hair. All of these products were super easy to glide onto my hair because I was in the shower. Um, I did my entire wash day routine in the shower and these products are meant to be used in the shower so it just pretty much worked perfectly because I use it the way that they're supposed to be used. So I was in the shower doing my wash and go. After applying each product, I would dip my hair under the water and then kind of like make sure I rub that through and then do another puff of the product and then kind of... I'll show you guys a little bit later in another video, but just for talking purposes and just letting you know, I love this super cream. If you are looking for a good moisturizing cream product from Diva Curl, this is, this is bae. This is legit along with the next product that I'm going to talk about. Um, I would highly... If you're going to get any products from this line, I will give you my top picks later on in the video but this bag right here is in those top picks so i love it so the next product is actually the highlight of this video and it's a very new product i actually don't know how much it costs this is the diva curl super stretch coconut curl elongator and this is for divine and control so this is going to be for my girls who like twist outs braid outs all that good stuff even wash and goes because i used it on my hair after i put on the super cream I added this, and this stuff really did add stretch, guys. I did not, I did not stretch my hair today. I did no such thing. I just sat under the dryer. Yeah. I did no stretching. I didn't do anything. I didn't pull on my roots and do the blow dryer. I didn't do any of that. There was no stretching in the video. Like, I mean, there, there's no stretching to my hair. But do you see how elongated my hair looks right now? It looks like I've literally stretched my hair and I have not stretched my hair, guys. I really haven't. I, I put that on everything. I put that, this, the video is not sponsored. I'm literally just talking about the products that I like and the products that I don't like. And this one elongated my curls. Like, th this back here is looking real long and, like, I'm, I need to get this to stop growing because it's it's leaving this but I I honey let me tell y'all something 
this product right here, along with this Be Leave In, is definitely, definitely, every wash and go from now on is, is, I well, not all of them because this is some expensive stuff. But for my, my top, my top babies, like these, this is going with it. It's something about it. I don't know what it is. But like I said, I was in the shower. I did use all of the other Diva Curl products. And this right here is amazing. I can't wait to try this with something else. But this super stretch cream, it's, it's so good. And it does have that coconut smell. If you don't like coconut, this is not going to be the product for you. But you may want to give it a try because... It's really good. Like, it's really, really good. I don't know how much it costs. It might be expensive. You might have to get a discount code from somewhere. But it's so good. I don't even know if they're selling it yet, but it's so good. But I'm going to move on. Okay. So, you guys know I can't do a wash and go without a gel, especially if I got it here in my house. And it's a part of the line, and I just used the whole line. So, I went in with the Ultra Defining Gel. Honestly, I mean, I don't know. I don't know about this product. Um, I mean, it gave my hair hold, but I don't know if my hair had hold by the time I put the super cream and the stretch cream on. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I didn't use a lot of the gel. The gel is still right here, and this is my second time using it. Um, but with these products, I mean, it... it, it it definitely topped it off, and there's no crunch on my hair whatsoever. I can't really give you a good review on this product just because, I mean, it glided on my hair really smooth. It is a very light consistency product. Okay. So, this product, it is a little watery, but... Like, upon applying it to your hand, it's a little bit thicker. But once you rub it in, it goes right into your hand. It goes right into your hair. Like, it's, this gel is definitely a lighter gel. But it gets a little sticky after applying it. Like, it's... But it doesn't have that crunchy feeling. Like, right now, my hands are sticky. They're sticky. So, um, I like sticky gels. I mean, I feel like my gels need to be a little tacky. Um... But it does say I have a strong hold. I know they have the Archangel Gel as well. They said that hold is harder than this one. Um, but I haven't tried that one. I need to try that one. I really want to. But I love the smell of this. It's super fresh. And yeah. So that's, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. I've, I've pretty much given you the entire line. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to let you guys know my favorite products that I feel like if you are going to try the Diva Curl brand, you should probably go out and get these products. These are, like, I mean, I, clearly you can see I've tried quite a few. So, I got four products that I absolutely feel like you should go out and get. The Believe In, guys. I absolutely love it. The actual super cream. It's creamy. I think it's a great product. You guys go and pick up that. Super Stretch, like I already mentioned. Bum.com. And also the Diva Curl Melt in Moisture. If you're going to go for any of them, honestly, I recommend your first one probably being the Super Stretch. It's the newest product, and I think it's really good. If you're not experienced with wash and goes yet, I don't think you should go out and get the Believe In. Um, just because you wouldn't see the benefit of having this product if you're not like experienced with wash and goes and haven't seen like what you like, what you don't like. Um, this is just a preference product. It's not needed. I feel like your hair will be perfectly fine if you leave that one out and just use the one condition. And then um, the super cream, the stretch cream, and then maybe a gel. Maybe. Haven't tried that, but maybe. Um, so, yeah. I hope I'm talking in terms of you guys. Because I know a lot of people don't know all of the Diva Curl products and terms and stuff. So, I hope I don't sound a little bit weird. But, I wanted to give you guys a real in-depth video about my experience with Diva Curl. And if I liked it or not. Because it's actually, it takes a learning curve for real. I heard that on someone's video. And it definitely takes a learning curve to understand how to use the Diva Curl products. And to make them cater to your hair. And if you don't use them in the shower, you're not going to get good results. That's just how I feel. Because I've tried that and it doesn't work. So, that's pretty much it guys. Um... 
My hair is beautiful. I love it. I just added a few accessories here and there, you know, trying to spice up my life a little bit, you know. Um, but I hope you guys really like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.